somebody stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Somebody stop me. Stop me. Stop me. Oh, somebody stop me. Lord, if I'm doing it wrong, please. American football is primarily an American sport, right? Uh, but we are trying to grow the sport internationally. That's a, a big push from the NFL. that They want to see uh, American football grow as a sport and be bigger in, in other markets. So, you know, we're trying to, to prove ourselves as the, a way to, to expand the game. Um, and so video games can be that way to prove, okay, how can people that don't live in America and follow the sport every day understand the sport and learn the sports? I think that's, uh, you know, one of the key pieces is, uh, you know, how do you get people to who are playing FIFA, for example, to understand how to play Madden or how to play NBA Live? Uh, you know, I think one of the biggest barriers is the controls itself, the controller. You know, once people learn how to use the controller and all the different buttons and everything like that, it's really then just a kind of a muscle memory type thing as they're learning uh, what does what in each game. Um, and so for us, it's really kind of how do we build out the most uh, in-depth and complex control set we can that's still intuitive to users that they can play the game and understand how to juke or how to spin and do these different moves uh, that they might not be familiar with because they don't follow the sport but they you know know how to do it in the game and so they can have success when they're playing Madden. I think the biggest thing we did this year was the real player motion piece. Uh, when it all comes down to gameplay, that's the key for any game that you're doing every year. It's really the game itself. Uh, and so with real player motion, it's how players perform on the field. It's that running, that control that you have over somebody when you're moving with them, that it's the responsiveness that you feel like they're not skating on ice, they're actually running on the ground and they're planting their feet and making those cuts and it really feels natural and organic. And so that's probably the biggest thing we did this year. Uh, we've been away from the PC market for about a decade now, uh, and it really just felt like the timing was right. Uh, you know, you look at the advancements in visuals, um, you know, with consoles moving to 4K, uh, you know, PC, you can go even higher than that, and the game can just look amazing in that world. So, you know, we've kind of, you know, that was one, one piece of it. Another piece is you look at the uh, popularity of streamers, and a lot of streamers like to, to, you know, use PC as their platform, so it gives them an opportunity to, to have, uh, you know, another way to get people to stream Madden and be influencers that are, that are talking about the game that way. And then the other part too is the market was there. People wanted to play on PC again. Uh, and so we want to get Madden in front of more people possible, you know, internationally as well. You know, it's a lot easier to get the game, uh, you know, that way through PC than it is through console. So just a lot of different reasons came together to make it a uh, time to jump back into that PC market. You know, just a few years ago, the concept of streaming was a very niche, very small thing, and it's exploded. And so for us, it's how does your game present itself that can be best suited for a stream. Um, you know, if you're playing competitively, you know, what are the things that the competitive players want to have in the game that makes it a better experience for them, but also not leaving behind your traditional franchise fans or the guys who've been playing, you know, the game for years. So that's the big challenge for us every year is how do we progress this in a changing landscape uh, to keep everybody involved and get the new players who are coming in that are looking to play the game in a specific way, very interested in, in what you're doing, but also not alienating anybody who's been playing the game for years.